So today, we're going to talk about level 1 PvP. It's something that people don't talk about much, because it's a little bit more difficult than other levels. There's more to it than you would think. So once you start the game with your level 1, just run straight to the castle. Don't do any of the tutorial, because you'll level up. And you don't want that. One quick note. If you look at your abilities, you'll notice that you're not going to get first aid, your weapon ability, or your weapon skill ability. That's because you get them from the quest line, and you can't do the quest line. So I'll fast forward to us getting to the castle. We'll find most of the abilities we need here. So we may not be able to get the main weapon ability, but we can get other abilities, like warriors can get blunt, axe, hand to hand. You can't get critical because that requires level 6. You can't get evasion abilities because those require a higher level. But you can get novelty, at least. There's only a few abilities you can get, but they're worth getting even if you can only level them up to 10. It's still something. Oh, okay, dude. Um, but moving on. The next thing I want to talk about is stats. See, as a level 1, you're only going to have your base stats, which is 5 strength, 5 dexterity, 10 focus, and 10 vit. You can never have more than that naturally, at least. So your attack is going to be a measly 5. Now the only way to increase that is to use gear, consumables, or to level up your ability. But you can only level up an ability to 10. So that means you're only going to get 10 more attack if you use something that you have an ability for. Which won't be swords. Now let's overview some of the gear we have here. So some good choices here are weapons with procs. Because they do massive damage at low levels. Though you would usually want to opt for something with a higher percent. As opposed to a lower one. Even if the lower one does more damage. Because it's more spread out and more DPS in the end. Though if you can't find a good one. Just substitute. You would also use these wands. For a super range, and it won't matter too much that you can't use wand because you can't use sword either, so it's pretty similar. You can also use defector weapons because they have no level requirement, and they're pretty good. Perilous Heart has attack, which is a real nice thing for a low level, and that's usually my go to sword if I want to use one. You can also use various old mounts. Because they have OP stats like armor, resist cold attack, and this one is a defense and resist heat. And certain mounts are good too, like this one has high damage and 60 health and energy regen, you could use that level 1. The 100% bore is just broken because it has a 1000 damage skill. and does even more auto damage, but I don't have that, I can't show you it, I'm sorry. But that's pretty nice. But you can't use an offhand, so that's a drawback. As the offhands, you got the classic Bodkin, which gives you nice regen, nice damage, some attack health. Then you got this, which has no regen, but has even more attack and one more damage. You have the Focus, which is actually surprisingly good. Because it gives resistances, which low levels usually lack. And decent health and energy and regen too. My favorite low level offhand is the bugged shield, because it gives so much health and 15 health per tick. But no attack there. So you gotta judge if it's worth it or not. So we'll just throw the bodkin on for now. It's pretty good overall. And these defector weapons are pretty cool because they're the size of two-handed weapons. I don't know why they're one-handed, I guess it was just a glitch on their part. 
Um, helmets. You got ones with spread stats like this, which are nice. You have the classic Bloodlust and War Magic. Now, the War Magic can actually give more damage at a low level, because you don't have enough strength or ability to make it count, unless you buff yourself up. But that's generally not the case, but Bloodlust does have 40 attack on it. So overall, it's probably better. But there's also ones for health, like this mask right here has 75 health, which is a ton. And you also have things like resistance helmets for armor. We will put on the Bloodlust, because I'm going to use that for a future example. Gloves and boots have to be heroic, no way about it, they're just too good. BP and pants, you should probably use Lesser Midsummer because they give attack and defense. And there's not really any good level 1 armor. Dark Flame's probably the second best choice. Let's see what else we got here. Jewelry, it's gotta be a heroic ammy. Charm, should be a ruby skull if you have one, but minor bat charms don't have level requirements on them. And apparently the new skull charms don't either. So they're good choices. You can use a shrink charm to hide from your enemy if you're using a ranged weapon. It actually surprisingly worked for me a few times. Especially if you're a ranger. Um, bracelets. Physical's usually good. But again, if you have low strength and ability, you can also go for elemental or optimally poison. So we'll put these physical ones on for now. Rings. You could use charstone rings, which give armor and resist heat. And there's also these stone veil rings that give a lot of one resistance which is nice for filling in holes in your resistance because that's one huge weakness level ones have I mean they have a huge amount of armor but maybe only resist heat from char stones you're not gonna have cold or magic the only downside is you can only use one of them see I'll put this one on takes that one off you know and um let's see There's also consumables you can use. This has no level requirement. You have to go to the fisherman and have it cooked from him. You can't cook it yourself or else it will have a level requirement. This is just one of the ones I have laying around. There's better ones like ones that use saffron that give 100 vit, which is 625 health. That's OP. There's also ones for strength, but I would definitely recommend vit. Because living longer is usually the best course of action and of course kites are still good because 100 armor is amazing so you have 241 armor at level 1 alright we're gonna try something out here I'm gonna prove to you how much only 10 ability can matter so we have 8, 7, add those together as 15 physical damage 25 and then 41 so we have 41 physical damage and we only have 58 in the stat screen so we're gonna level up hand to hand just to 10 so keep in mind we're at 58 So yeah, 58 to 65, that's a gain of 7, which is a pretty nice percentage just for only getting 10 points, because the first points are the most effective, and that's what we're going for. Now since we don't have any strength, one thing you should totally do, get a pet and mount, because they'll give you your stats that you need, and they're very important now because there's not gear that really gives you the stats in an efficient way at least. So look into that. Also, you don't have your sword ability, but you do have hand-to-hand -hand axe, blunt novelty. So there are a few choices in order to have your damage higher and attack higher. 
It just sucks that the defect are weapons or swords, but we can look past that. Because there's stuff like the Banshee Blade, which does slash damage, and it's a novelty, and it does a proc at 200, which would be pretty nice to use for damage sake. And it looks pretty styling too. So you have a lot of choices, you can customize for damage or even health or tankiness if you want. And especially with crazy buffs like this, you can go pretty far. Like 763 health, 303 armor. So with these tips I gave you, you probably rule over at least level 30s, I would say, and a quick little overview on what we talked about. You're gonna need attack, or else you won't be able to hit crap. So I would say aim for at least 100, if you can. Midsummer helps a lot, gives a good amount. Look for it if you can. You're also gonna want health Armor is going to come naturally from wearing heroic gear, because gloves, boots, and ammy is, what, 95? Crazy stuff. And if you wear four Charleston rings, they're the best, that's 108 more. Um, elemental damage is more important than physical, for the most part, at low level. Because low levels have armor, they don't necessarily have elemental resistance. And... Proc weapons are good for the massive damage you do. Heavy regen can be abused. And at a low level, just be creative. That's basically all there is to it. The smarter ways you come up with the beat people, the further you'll go. I just wish more people did level 1 PvP. I kind of given up on it myself, but these are the notes that I have from me trying it in the past. And I hope they could be of use to somebody out there.